In this video, I want to show you how to create a table of contents in Power BI. I have this report in Power BI which contains multiple pages. I want to have a table of content page at the beginning of the report that audience can choose which page they want to view. To do this, first I'm adding a new page and naming it Table of Contents. From the top menu, I go to insert and click on buttons and select blank. Going to the format pane in the shape section, in the state, you can choose how you want your button to appear on the page in different states like when they are hovered over, selected, or just in default state. I leave it as default. In the style section, I turn on text and I can create a name for my button. I am going to write the name of the page that I want to be connected to this button. First, summary. In the icon, I want my button to be shown as a right arrow. You can also change the color. For the text, uh, for the alignment, I put it in the center. In the field section, you can choose to add background to your button. Also, I want to add some border. Now, in the action section, you can define what your button should be used for. In the type, you have some options. Back returns the user to the previous page of the report. This action is especially useful for drill through pages. Bookmark presents the reports page that's associated with the bookmark that is defined for the current page. Drill through navigates the user to a drill through, drill through page filter to their selection. Q&A opens a Q&A explorer window. Web URL opens a web page in a browser. Page navigation which is what we want to do, navigates the user to a different page within the report. I'm selecting page navigation and in the destination, I select the page that I want to connect to this button. I start with the summary page. Now we have a button for the first page of the report summary. Now I'm going to copy this button to use it for other pages in the report. The second one I change the name to details and destinations for details page. The third button, again, I change the text to demographics, the last page in the report. And in the action, 
I select demographics page as destination. Now we have our table of contents. By clicking on any of these buttons, it will take you to the page that it is connected to.